is the author of the new book, True and Constant Friends, Love and Inspiration from Our Grandmothers, Mothers, and Friends. And she just so happens to be the wife of presidential candidate Rand Paul. Kelly, uh, welcome to the show. It's good to have you on. How's it feel uh, being the wife of a presidential candidate so far? It's not too bad. It's pretty exciting. Uh, um, I'm having a good time with it. <laughs> yeah. It, some people say it's a little grueling, so yeah. uh, get ready. But we're glad to have you on the show. The book looks amazing. I understand your grandmother inspired the book. And before we get into what exactly the inspiration was, she apparently gave you all kinds of things, and she was a, like had a huge love of fashion. And there's a person particular of hers that you took to the White House. Tell us. It about always it. goes back to purses yes. with me, <laughs> I love it. Yes, my grandmother, uh, she came to this country in 1929 from Ireland. Uh, she worked as a maid for the founders of the Saks Fifth Avenue stores as her first job. She was a live-in maid. She worked for a lot of wealthy families in New York, and she would always bring me uh, wonderful things when she would come to visit during my childhood, one of which was that beaded purse, which one of her employers had given her. And when she gave it to me, I was about 15. and. I'll never forget, she told me that she thought that I would take it lots of wonderful places and it was very special to her and she wanted me to have it. My grandmother had a beautiful lyrical way of speaking and she always made a big production out of everything. She was very dramatic and I just remember her giving me that purse and so it's been something that I do hmm. want to take special places and, and the first time I took it to the White House I felt like she was there with me. Oh, dramatic. So Great storyteller. I, I, I read that she embellished stories. Who would ever guess she came from Ireland? Uh, <laughs> but anyway, um, you know, you also talk about your friends, though. Your friends are an inspiration to this book. This book is about women who actually get together every year. And you guys talk about all your problems and share your problems, whether it's divorce or you say abusive husbands or just uh, whatever pro problems in life. Talk about how that inspired this book as well. Uh, very much so. Uh, we're a source of, of support for each other through the tough times, but also all the great times, too. And uh, there are a group of amazing women that I met the very first week of my freshman year in college. And I decided when I started thinking about this book to reach out to them and find out who in their life like Julia O'Toole, my grandmother was for me. Was there a woman, either a mother, grandmother, aunt, someone who really right. shaped who they were when they were younger? And it was a great experience going back in time as much as a hundred years with each friend and really exploring mm. the women that made us who we are. Lovely. Kelly, Kelly. Hey, Kelly, um, can I ask you what it's like to be a candidate's wife? Because I've never been one, obviously. <laughs> uh, but candidates' wives are in this kind of curious position. And the New York Times has a headline which says, Kelly Paul has a task to make Rand Paul more approachable. I mean, how weird does that seem to you? Pretty weird. Because <laughs> I don't really look at that as my task. Obviously, that's something that a journalist wrote. Um, you know, uh, it is, a, it is an odd kind of position to be in, and I, I don't think it's just women that are in this position. I'm friends with some Senate spouses that are, that are males in D.C., and uh, being a spouse, you're in this kind of semi-public position. I, I, I still feel like I'm just primarily, you know, Rand's spouse and there to support him and our family, but uh, at the same time, people are curious about who he is as a person, so that kind of gets me out in the spotlight some, and I'm, I'm happy to do that. I'm very proud of Rand. And happy to defend him and some of the charges that he has a problem with women? Absolutely. I mean, to me, the whole gender angle on that was a bit of a false construct. I mean, that's not who Rand is as a person. Um, he wrote the foreword in my book, and he talks about all of the, the women in his life, and uh, his whole family is full of strong women, three female doctors, veterinarian, chemical engineer. Uh, his longtime partner in his ophthalmology practice is a female surgeon that, that he worked with for over 10 years. So Rand is someone who truly looks at the substance of a person, their intellect and their ideas, and is the last person to ever judge someone based on their gender or anything else. And Mika, that lines up with what you said after the, the Savannah Guthrie interview. You said this is not about... Oh. Being women, this is no. they, they can take care Savannah of themselves. Savannah was fine. Yeah, <laughs> um, I, I actually I thought there was a good strategy going there, one that you often use. But that's for another day. No the book is True about. and Constant Friends. Kelly Paul, thank you so much. Kelly, for being thank on. you. We greatly hey, appreciate it. Thank you so much.